The setup starts directly from the XP Embedded Builder DVD. After the setup has started, the welcome screen appears. If you have a valued product key for your image, you can enter it here. If you don't enter a key, the setup will create a 120 day evaluation version. The XP Embedded Builder will automatically create a partition on your primary storage drive. You can choose between FAT, FAT32 and NTFS file system. If you wish to choose another drive, you can select a perforated drive and a custom Windows Pass 2. The setup will now create a primary partition with the NTFS file system and it will copy the base image to the new drive. After the process has been completed, click Next. Here you can enter your administrator password. If you decide to have more than one user on the system, you can create those user accounts here. You can configure an automatic login for a user too. This is the additional components window. In this list you'll find all available components for your image. Just check a group item to see which components belong to this group. Check a component to add it to the final image. Please note that components won't be installed if the group item is unselected. In our example, we will check application compatibility with Win XP Pro compatibility and Windows Installer Service. For the control panel, we'll include the device manager and other control panel items. To customize your image, we'll also check the custom shell. Under device drivers you can check UDOC boot if you use the M-Systems USB flash drive. We'll check the enhanced write filter, DirectX 9, Windows Media Player 10, Windows Networking and Network Tools, Start Menu Entries and Windows Applications. After we click Next, all components that need further configuration will appear. Notepad and Task Manager should be included. Also, all control panel options. The start menu should contain My Documents, Run and Find. After the selection, we'll continue by clicking Next. With this component, we are able to change the default shell. We will keep the Explorer shell in this example. The enhanced write filter will be configured to protect our installation partition. The settings are correct, so we click Next. Network tools include applications like Ping and IPconfig, so we'll add them to the image. For the network installation, we'll change the computer name to XP Embedded Sample and join Workgroup. All other components will install automatically. After the installation process is done, the system will reboot automatically and the first boot agent will start up. During the FBA, the system will configure the user account, plug and play devices to run XP Embedded properly. After one more reboot, the system will start up and user 1 will be logged on as set before. Windows Media Player works after an initial configuration. Also the network name has been applied. 
you will find all selected control panel items in the control panel. DirectX 9 works properly as DirectX Diagnostic Tool shows. As you can see, the network tools, for example Ping, are also available. Now we log off and re log on as administrator. The previous set administrator password has been applied.